All right, welcome back to Living in Chicago Southland. Today we are back in New Lenox, and we are talking about New Lenox schools. Chicago Southland. This channel is all about what it's like living in the Southland of Chicago, specifically the south suburbs of the Chicago area. If you are in the area now, if you're thinking about relocating to the area, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We will let you know whenever a video comes out about living in the south suburbs of Chicago. Today, as promised, we are talking about the schools in New Lenox. New Lenox, one of the faster growing communities in the Chicago suburbs. Uh, certainly one of the fastest growing communities in Will County. And one of the main reasons is the schools. When we talk to any of our clients or friends that have moved to the area, most of them say schools is the number one thing that brought them to this area. So let's talk about them today. And full disclosure, just so we know, we are going to be referencing a couple of different websites today that compile the data for us. This isn't necessarily my thought or my opinion. I'm not trying to steer you or deter you from any area or any school at all. We're merely going to go to places like niche.com and greatschools.org and go through the data that they've compiled for us. Uh, these are probably the two websites that I would consider the authority on rating schools across the country, not certain, not just here in Illinois. Uh, they do it based on reading proficiency, math proficiencies, student to teacher ratio, diversity, a lot of different things that they put together. Uh, again, we are merely just going through these sites and interpreting the data. All right, so we're going to start off in New Lenox here, going through some of the boundaries of the different schools. Uh, we have, you know, Cherry Hill is going to be a pre-K school that you'll find out here on the west side. There's two main junior highs in New Lenox. Liberty Junior High is going to be, it's kind of on the north side, but it's going to encompass the north end of New Lenox as well as kind of the, the south and southwest areas here. You'll see all shaded in the blue and light blue is going to fold into Liberty Junior High School. And the greens are going to end up going to Martino Junior High School, uh, the light greens and, and dark greens here. Elementary schools, you're going to have Haynes Oakview as, as well as the Nelson Prairie and Ridge Campus. These are going to be, you know, encompass these areas here in the blue. And the Tyler Bentley Campus as well as the Spencer Trail and Crossing Campus is going to be kind of that eastern side of New Lenox. Ratings wise, generally speaking, you are going to find very highly rated schools in New Lenox, okay? If we compare that data and those rankings to what we see on greatschools.org, we're going to see a little bit different uh, of some rankings. They go numbers instead of grades. Uh, they, they do rate things a little bit lower as far as on a scale, uh, but you'll find kind of the top three schools that you'll see in the area are going to be Nelson Ridge, Arnold Tyler, and Spencer Point. So if we look at Nelson Ridge overall rating of a 7 out of 10 on greatschools.org, we have 9 out of 10 for test scores, 6 out of 10 for student progress, and 8 out of 10 out of equity. And again, I would certainly recommend you go to greatschools.org and look at really get in depth on how they're going to, how they break all these down and these ratings down. But um, academic wise, very, very highly rated. Okay. You're talking about a 9 out of 10 uh, as according to greatschools.org. So now looking a little bit further into Nelson Ridge School, something that I think is is very important. Me as a parent, my kids going to school, very important to me is going to be that teacher and staff ratio to student. Uh, Nelson Ridge School is going to have a 22 to 1 uh, ratio of students. So it is a, a relatively populated school. Counselor is going to be one for every 484. And 100% of the teachers at Nelson Ridge have over three years of experience, which I think is very good. Moving over to Spencer Point, we have a 9 out of 10 rating overall, 7 out of 10 out of test scores, and we have 10 out of 10 on equity. And if we scroll down to check out what seems to be important to a lot of parents and a lot of people involved in the district is we have teachers and staff. Again, uh, we have a, a little bit higher than the state average as far as ratio, 20 to 1 teacher to student, 415 to 1, pretty close to the 484 we saw in Nelson Ridge. Only 79% of the teachers at Spencer have over three years of experience. Again, still 8 out of 10 teachers. Uh, I'd say that's pretty good. And moving over to the other top rated school, we have Arnold Tyler School, uh, overall a 7 out of 10 rating from greatschools.org, 9 out of 10 on the test scores, and 6 out of 10 on the equity. Again, scrolling down to that student to teacher ratio, a little better student to teacher ratio, 16 to 1 over here at Tyler. Uh, and again, a little bit smaller school. So you're going to have uh, one counselor for 359 schools, 95% uh, of the teachers over three years of experience. Now, if we jump over to niche.com and we look at the ratings there, uh, you can kind of see over here, here's the Nelson area. That's the A minus on those two schools. 
Um, Spencer, you're going to have B, B plus, and I believe that's an A hitting back there. Yep, A, A back there uh, for Spencer. And Tyler, that A minus. So the top three schools that I was talking about are all going to be A's according to niche.com. And again, all highly rated as well on greatschools.org. From a real estate standpoint, if we are looking at the all these different school districts, I can tell you a little bit about some of the way the communities are built in these school districts. Now, the Martino campus, as well as the Tyler Bentley campus, is kind of here more centrally located in New Lenox. You have a different mix as far as construction and style of homes in this area, okay? You have some of the older parts of New Lenox, which are homes that have been built a you know significant time ago. There are a couple of newer subdivisions. Hearts Homes actually built a couple of new subdivisions. Uh, that folded into these schools. So you get kind of a mix as far as, as real estate goes. Spencer Trail as well, it's kind of going to be a little bit newer as far as real estate goes compared to the center of New Lenox. You're going to have some outlying sections here that have newer subdivisions, but some areas that have been around for 30 to 40 years of, as far as the construction goes. The newest area, I would say, as far as construction and real estate goes, is going to be your Nelson and Prairie Ridge. Uh, again, either the Cherry Hill areas are probably some of the older subdivisions that you'll find uh, that fold into the Nelson Prairie and Nelson Ridge campus. Uh, but all the way south, you have subdivisions like Jacobs Field and Palmer Ranch, Laraway Ridge, Horizon Meadows, and Taylor Glen. All relatively newer subdivision, a little bit larger as far as square footage compared to the other areas of New Lenox. So if you're looking for much newer construction, this is an area you might want to focus on. If you like areas that are going to have more older style homes or, or larger trees and, and different types of landscapes, I would focus more central or maybe a little bit further east of New Lenox. All right, hopefully this is helpful if you are narrowing down your decision of where to live in New Lenox. Maybe you decided, I want to live in New Lenox. And I want to know where to go as far as the where the best schools are. I know what some people are saying is, I don't have kids. I don't care what the schools are. There is no greater factor to the equity and value of your home than the school district that your home is in. So even if you don't have children that are attending schools, you want to be conscious and cognizant of what's going on with the schools in the district that you fold into. Because it's, again a very, very high impact on what your home value is going to be. If you're still around and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. We will let you know whenever we put out a video on living in Chicago Southland. Thanks for checking out the video and we will see you again.